This is Channel 8 Bit Days a Week, and we're gonna play Grand Theft Auto on the PlayStation Classic. This is the original one. Of course, uh, Grand Theft Auto has become one of the biggest franchises in all of uh, video games, I guess. I know the PlayStation 1 had the first and the second one and um, like uh, w was it a spin-off or side story of the second one, the one set in London. And um, back then I know I didn't really play this on the PlayStation 1. I actually tried it, I just tried it on the PC. I honestly didn't like it that time, so I didn't really spend too much time with it. Uh, my friend did. He loved the game. I just really couldn't see myself playing it a lot. Okay, option. Travis. Troy, give love, Bubba. I'm not sure if any of those choices mattered. Um, well, we'll see. Oh, Livery City! Okay. This is the setting of the fourth one, isn't it? Of the GTA series, the one that I actually played a lot. Grand Theft Auto. Um, that would have to be Vice City. I think everybody played that one. Well, uh, of course, I love the 80s vibe to it. Sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. Can you get out of the way? Oh boy. Um, controlling get, gets needs getting used to. Oh wait, the arrow is pointing that way now. No? How do you reverse? Now this is another one of those odd inclusions, like why did they include this? It's not really representative of the series, of the console, but I just suppose because GTA series became big on the PlayStation 2, they wanted to show off that it started here, even though it didn't really. See how bad I'm gonna mess up this mission. Yeah, it's, um, uh, I feel like I'm controlling a like a fast moving tank. Is that who I'm supposed to waste? But the arrow says that way. Well, it's a good thing the cars don't break down easily. That'd be tiresome. Now, despite this being a PAL version, meaning a 50 hertz version, <laughs> me 
gaming low frame rates version. It's actually okay. I mean, it doesn't really. Again, it's not like something like uh, Tekken where speed and precision is very vital. I suppose it's vital here later on, but from how I'm uh, playing it right now, I mean, how I feel it right now, it, it, it's okay. So, there may be, I mean, almost half of the games are in a 50 hertz version, but not all of them really made it, make, makes it unplayable. change radio stations as well no oh and even the graphics of uh, retro city rampage looks better than this though and that one is supposed to be 8-bit inspired. Wasted. Oh, I'm alive again. But I don't start from the hospital or jail or something. I'm supposed to steal a car. Oh, this looks like my car. Can I ride it, please? Thank you. Man, I'm still not used to these driving controls. It really feels like a fast-moving tank. Whoops. No, no! Why? Can't you swim? Mm -hmm. I want a nice looking car. Oh, this one looks cool. Let's roll! Hey, how come he didn't... So anyway, as I was saying, um, the GDA game that I really played a lot was Vice City. But at some point, actually, when you know, when you're trying to complete all those missions, uh, kind of gets tiresome somewhere in the middle. So I ended up just. Um, like riding a car and listening to the radio stations, that was one of the best parts of that game, for me at least. My favorite stations of course is V-Rock and um, Flash FM. Although my absolute favorite station of all the GDA games I played, and I have not played all of them, would be the Flashback FM of uh, GDA 3. Because um, that's the Scarface soundtrack. And I, I love most of the songs there to begin with. I wish they had full album. I wish they actually had more maybe Scarface inspired uh, music 
soundtrack. Oh, am I here? Are these the people I'm supposed to kill? I, I wish I could tell. Alright, who do I run over? See, I guess this is the... I mean, this is probably the game that made this uh, high rating. And... Maybe it's something that would um, actually hinder them instead of helping them. There's a lot of uh, how do I say tamer games out there that are still worthy inclusions. To the classic, I mean, would you, if you have a limited number of games, I wish they chose some other game. Northeast. To the very least, maybe they should have um, included like a higher number of games if they wanted to really have a GTA representation, maybe they should have just added like a have higher a higher game count instead of uh, limit limiting it to 20. From what I read, the PlayStation Classic is uh, has a 16 gig um, like uh, space. It's not really a hard drive, I guess. Um, storage there, that's the term. It has 16 gig storage, and if you count, try to tally up all the games currently included, it probably takes up half of uh, the 16 gig storage. So they probably could have added five or 10 more Perfect for those uh, missing titles. Crash, Tony Hawk, games like those. Ah, this controls, man. All right, all right, move. Put it in the building? Or... Yeah, it seems to be supposed to be going to that building. Alright. Don't they have cell phones? <laughs> anyway, I guess that's one of the perks of uh, the newer games. Your guy doesn't have to run through a phone booth. Um, so regarding this game, it's more of a curiosity, you know, like where the GTA series started, like how it started before, what was it like? So people curious about that, you know, they probably never played it played uh, uh, the original GTA before this is a good I think this is a okay at least an okay place to try out on a PlayStation classic um, I can see myself still playing this game trying it out I'll see if I could like how far I could get to So, all right, that's uh, GTA, uh, this is channel 8-bit days a week, please do leave your comments, your likes, or subscribe, please. And thanks for watching, see you in the next video.